Oh, hello there. Yes. Well, that was the king's speech, wasn't it? Yes. You would kind of hope that one of the monarchs would actually put a bit of oomph into it. You know, I mean, I know King Charles is useful when it gets to going to Paris and celebrating liberation because he can talk in French, but... It's a bit of a slog, isn't it, eh? Anyway, leaving that aside, yes, well, I suppose that's a start, isn't it, in one way or another, to kind of uh, chip away at the stuff that's been going on. But there is part of me that kind of thinks that a lot of these people that drafted these uh, possible bills to go forward um, maybe wouldn't have had to have done so if they maybe uh, just got behind the leader in 2017. In fact, all of us collectively wouldn't be where we are now, would we? I'd be slightly over here. Yeah. Anyway, leaving that, <coughs> leaving that aside, yes, yesterday, um, there was another one of those gender pronouns ideology cases that somebody got sacked and uh, they'd appealed and they got sacked a second time, basically. Yes, poor old James Orwin, who decided, um, yes, he was going to complain bitterly. So we get this in the Telegraph. Uh, gender critical council worker, in inverted commas you notice, sacked after protesting about he, him pronouns. Yes, James Orwin was fired for refusing to remove deliberately provocative alternatives in his email signature. Yes, yet another one of these people that decide that because they hold an opinion and because they've seen lots of stuff online, come back to that in a second, Second, that they have the right to tell everyone around them about it. And you don't, okay? Anyone can hold any views they like, okay? You can be a Nazi, you can be a communist, you can be a transphobe, you can be a racist. Look, I'm going to be racist right now, okay? There. Okay, yes, and apologies to the Welsh, by the way, but there we go, all right? Now, you know, notice that what I've done there is nothing, okay? Because I'm allowed to hold opinions, but I mustn't act on them, okay? That's a really gentle, sort of sensible thing. And if you go to sort of actually HR training on these things, it's the kind of thing that's been said since the 1980s, okay? You can believe anything you like, okay? You can be Christian, Hindu, Muslim, Rastafarian, anything you want. However, that doesn't give you the right to be obnoxious, key part of this, to people around you. And James's fault was that he decided, because of what he'd read online, no doubt, that he could be so. Because a lot of our gender critical types, you know, all four of them, or is it five now? It's hard to say. Anyway, Sex Matters appears to be two people, but there's now 16 organisations. It's seen in publishing and seen in the park and seen before bedtime, but probably not after. Yeah, all of those non-organisations that are exactly the same people are constantly putting out the message that you can hold gender critical views. And yes, of course you can. However, people have to work with you, all right? I'm reminded of Darren Grimes. Um, he got into a little bit of, tr bit of trouble yesterday because he posted this up, OK? Darren Grimes, UK Home Office officials celebrate a Labour government with a snap of them all. What do you notice? Hmm... I'm wondering what I noticed, Darren. I wonder what I'm supposed to notice, Darren, OK? And as various people sort of pointed out pretty much immediately, um, it, was a, it was actually a photograph from 2018 of a particular cohort of employees. Now, obviously, this is Darren being a racist because Darren's a racist. And this is the kind of racism that he does. Yes, I have no qualms about calling Darren a racist, all right? He's a racist on a daily basis, and it's his job to be a racist. And when he sits on that stupid stool on GB News with black people around him, it's their job to ignore his racism and probably join in at the right moment against them people that they regard as inferior, like Muslims, you know, which is also a form of racism, because that's what racism is, when we clump together groups of people and ascribe values to them that we don't hold against other people. That's racism. Anyway, Darren, right, OK? Imagine if, imagine if you work with Darren, OK, and he felt he had a right to say things like this to you on a regular basis, and you weren't as white as he was. Hmm? What would you do? Yeah, that's right. Apart from punching his lights out on a regular basis, one of the things, of course, that Darren is immune from because he travels everywhere by taxi, lest he get to meet his adoring fans. 
But, of course, what you do is eventually you go to HR and they would take proceedings to have him fired because you don't have the right to do that to other people at work. And poor old James has found that as well. You don't have the right to impose discriminatory, nasty views on people simply because you hold them. Yeah? That's not the way that it works. And unfortunately, with our current glorious leaders and people like Wes Streeting and others, the fact that they are making noises to agree with people like J.K. Rowling and seen in publishing and seen in my own Helen's front room or whatever it might be, that they encourage this constant pumping out of information that people are allowed to be this nasty. They're not, okay? That's not the way the law works. Have I laboured that point enough? Maybe. Anyway, I think, you know, that, especially around the uh, news about puberty blockers with the BMA, etc., right, okay, it's about time that we had a sensible discussion, a sensible discussion in and around the whole issue of trans that might start to happen now in terms of movements towards better mental health care, especially for young people. But I'm not going to hold my breath because when people like J.K. Rowling jump up and down and demand to be heard because they wrote a story about a boy with a magic stick, then I have my doubts about their views around medication for people. And I'm sorry, but one way or another, I cannot get my head round how puber puberty blockers can be given quite safely for ch to children for as young as three for anything up to seven or eight years. And yet magically they become incredibly dangerous and sterilizing and mutilating and everything else when they're given to other people. Ain't the way the science works isn't reality. Anyway, do have a... Gorgeous, slightly towards the weekend, a sort of hot day. Yes, sun. My pussycat is happy. Oh, and I saw a fox yesterday. That was really nice, yeah. Just kind of sat there having a bit of a sun. It's rather lovely. Anyway, do have a mm, lovely day.